Good morning. It's Wednesday, October 14th, 2020. It's day 42 of our school year. So um, I'm going to tell you what day it is a little bit later towards the end. I first want to show you something with our morning message, something we do every day. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the daily oral language page. And I want to show you that the example is different because we're adding something new to it that we've not looked at before. So the example sentence says, she likes red, green, and blue. So it's telling three or more things. So whenever you have a list and there's three or more items in that list, you need to put commas between each one of them. So we're talking about colors. So we have red, green, blue, three of them. So we do need commas. If we just had two colors like red, green, we would just say she likes red and green. And we have an and in here, but because we've got three or more, we have to do commas. So I wanna show you how to do that. So our first color is red and our second color is green. So I come over here and I look at add punctuation. So that means I put, make it be red so it'll really show up good. That insert symbol and then whatever the punctuation is that needs to go there, which is a comma on this one. So a comma needs to go between red and green. And then we need to have a comma between green and blue in front of the and. So we do the same thing right there and put the comma in there. Then we always capitalize that first word in a sentence. And then we need a period on the end of this one. So to show a period means you circle where it needs to be and put a little period. And then I kind of went ahead and did this ahead of time. So this video is a little quicker. I went ahead and typed it up. So right here it is with a capital S. I put my comma after red and then do a space after a comma. Then do your comma after green and then do a space and then my period. So there it is how you do it when you have a list of three or more things. You need a comma between each of those three things that's in the list. So I needed to show you that today since that's a new thing that we're looking at this week. And now I'm going to go to what day it is. It is take your teddy bear to work day. And I found this teddy bear working on a computer because you know, when you're working, you're on a computer. And here is me in my little teddy bear outfit. So take your teddy bear to work. So I need to stop share and let you see me with my teddy bear at work today. So I've got him right here. I'm going to slide his chair over. And move the camera down a little bit so you can see my buddy. So you're helping me today. This is my teddy bear. I'm going to wave at you. He's helping me at work today. So you can take your teddy bear to help you with your work today. So have a great day. He's going, sure you're a Have a great day today, everybody.